It began under the African sky in the spring of 2003. As he thought about his visit to a local church earlier that day, Pastor Rick was struck by the impact of what he had witnessed. Here was a church in a tent. Only 50 adults and 25 children, children orphaned by AIDS. A church with no money, scarce resources, and nowhere to meet except under the shade of a homemade tent. And yet, this tiny church was making a huge difference. Caring for the sick, feeding and teaching orphans, growing food so that they might provide for the poor, managing a micro-enterprise. One small local church with such a powerful impact. Rick was moved by this. Traveling the world together, Rick and Kay had seen the giant problems people were facing. Spiritual emptiness, self-serving leadership, extreme poverty, pandemic disease, and rampant illiteracy. Rick asked the Lord what he was missing. How could Saddleback Church, with all its influence, be used to fight these global Goliaths? That evening, under a starlit sky, a vision began to emerge. It would be called the Peace Plan, a new way of doing missions designed to mobilize the world's 2.3 billion Christians to work through the local church. A plan to plant churches and promote reconciliation, equip servant leaders, assist the poor, care for the sick, and educate the next generation. Rick knew this vision could only begin with the people of Saddleback Church. They would be called upon to take on the global giants. They would do what Jesus had commanded. In faith and love, they would travel to every continent. One church, one extraordinary task, to reach out to the world and go to every nation. On every continent, there are global giants that ravage people and leave them spiritually and physically wounded and destitute. Spiritual emptiness numbs billions of souls that have not experienced the forgiveness of Jesus Christ. Self-serving leadership has failed to address the world's problems. Extreme poverty crushes the life out of countless hundreds of millions. Pandemic disease ravages children and adults alike. Rampant illiteracy traps people away from hope. 26% of the world's adults cannot read. God has used everyone who's been willing to trust Him and simply say, yes, I'll go. No matter who they are, no matter what they've done, no matter how big the fears, God used them to make a significant difference. More than 13,000 Saddleback members have had an impact that has been bigger than they ever imagined. Around the globe, they freed hundreds of young girls from sexual slavery, adopted hundreds of children who had lost their mothers and fathers, trained thousands of healthcare volunteers to assist the sick and dying, provided clean, life-giving drinking water for hundreds of thousands, and planted more than a half a million house churches. Peace is not only global, it's also local. In our community, peace teams have tutored children who need a little extra push to succeed in life, cared for the elderly who are alone and cannot manage their lives as they once did, provided food for people living on the streets, seeking a way out of poverty, helped keep at-risk young people in school through gang prevention programs, gave practical assistance to the unemployed so they can keep their lives together, 
restored homes and neighborhoods, putting love into action in the local community. And when disaster strikes in America or anywhere in the world, Saddleback Church Peace Relief Teams are ready to help meet critical emergency needs. Over 1,200 Saddleback Church volunteers have been trained and equipped. Working through the local church, this strategic relief force is ready to respond at a moment's notice. Assistance with medical supplies and things like that and administering medical aid. We've given out mosquito nets to widows and life-saving prescriptions. Teach them to farm and produce products that can be sold in the markets. Help school children read or write. Help the sick, you know, to help the poor. And not only every nation in the world, but even in our communities. We may come along to assist the poor, but the ultimate purpose for our ministry is to go share with them about the saving grace of Jesus Christ. It's more than just sharing the gospel, it's sharing the gospel and giving them what they need. People really don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. We had to show them that we cared first. That, to me, is what a peace trip is all about. Going and serving so that people in the back of their mind say, why did you come? And then you can share with them, we came because we were commanded to by Christ. It is definitely life-changing. To me, it's, it's uh, reaching out in ways I never thought I would be able to do. Really learn how huge God is and how, you know, my God used to be so small. To see God working on a grand scale um, deepened my faith immensely. It made everything real. It wasn't just something that I heard about and the people that told me I should care about these things. Like, I went and I experienced it for myself. It's changed my worldview. It's thrown my world upside down and inside out, and I wouldn't change it for anything. What began under an African sky in the year 2003 has touched the world. As never before, the members of Saddleback Church have heard the commandment of Jesus. In an unprecedented way, they have responded. Over 13,000 have taken peace trips. They have reached every continent. To the peoples of the earth, they have carried a simple message. God loves you. He has a plan for you. He wants to forgive you. He has a place for you in heaven. Journey after journey they have gone. Church to church they have connected. Follower to follower they have bonded. Friend to friend they have become unified. These ordinary people have carried this good news. They have applied their God-given shape in the struggle against global giants. They have reached beyond their fears and in faith they have made a difference that matters. They have changed lives, and in doing this, they themselves have been changed forever. God has done extraordinary things as His followers have said, Yes, Lord, use me. In humility and love, trusting God, they have gone to every nation.